Hello, I am Maximilian Dixon, the Earthquake Program Manager for Washington State. Earth is made up of tectonic plates. Like a jigsaw puzzle, they are always moving, causing the continents and oceans to drift. The continents have not always been where they are located today. Magma moving inside the Earth, like very slowly boiling water, pushes the tectonic plates into each other causing huge amounts of pressure to build up. Pressure between the tectonic plates is released along areas called faults. The release is called an earthquake. The largest earthquakes are where the tectonic plates touch. Washington has the second highest earthquake risk in the United States. This map shows the faults we know about in Washington State where earthquakes happen. There are three types of earthquakes, deep fault earthquakes, surface fault earthquakes, and subduction zone earthquakes. We have all three in Washington. Deep earthquakes are the most common but have the least shaking because they're so far down below the surface of the earth. They happen every 30 to 50 years in Washington. The last one was the Nisqually earthquake in 2001, shown on this map. The strongest shaking will happen where the red and orange are. Surface fault earthquakes tend to be much more damaging than deep quakes because they are closer to the surface. They also tend to produce many aftershocks that could cause more damage. The strongest shaking will happen where the red and orange areas are. The biggest earthquakes in the world are along subduction zones where tectonic plates touch. Ours is called the Cascadia subduction zone. It shakes about every 200 to 600 years along the coast. The last one was in 1700. During an earthquake everything will begin to shake. The lights may go out or flicker. Sprinkler systems and fire alarms may go off. Windows could shatter. Objects will fly off the shelves and drop from the ceiling. Trees and telephone poles will rock side to side. Do not try to run during an earthquake. The earth is shaking and you could fall down and injure yourself. Most injuries are caused by objects falling on people and or people falling down. As soon as you feel the ground shake, drop to the ground, cover your head and neck with one hand Crawl under something sturdy, like a desk, and hold on to it so it doesn't move away from you. The only things that kept the building floors from completely collapsing were the school desks. Drop cover and hold on. It could save your life. If you are outside during an earthquake, drop to the ground, move away from things that could fall on you, such as buildings, telephone poles, trees, and signs, and protect your head and neck. If you are in a wheelchair or using a walker, lock your wheels, cover your head and neck, and hold on until the shaking stops. Join us in the world's largest earthquake drill. Practice drop cover and hold on. It could save your life. And don't forget to register you and your family at www.shakeout.org forward slash Washington. During an emergency, you are more likely to be able to text or call someone out of state. Have a contact outside of Washington, such as a relative or friend, that can serve as a relay point for family communication. Make sure everyone has the phone number in their phone or their backpack. Be sure to help each other during an emergency. The more you work together, the safer and better everyone will be. For more information on earthquakes, go to www.pnsn.org or www.dnr.wa.gov forward slash geology portal. For more information on getting prepared, go to www.shakeout.org forward slash Washington www.earthquakecountry.org 
www.mil.wa.gov forward slash preparedness or www.redcross.org forward slash prepare guide. Do not be a couch potato and wait until it's too late. Get prepared today. Thank you.